Hi everyone, and welcome back to some more or took the desolation. So let's continue on where we left off. This game is quite intriguing, so I am going to continue. Let's maybe attack this village right here. It can be captured and it has some defenders. Let's do this then. Difficulty normal this time around. Beasts Town Watch. Here they are. Well, we've seen some of them before. Okay, let's go for it then. This deployment is actually almost fine. Maybe a little bit closer, right here. There, that actually looks reasonable. Hey, hold on, this fella will go first. Are we actually in range to attack? Wait, what did he say? I didn't quite catch that. He said something. Oh, maybe he will join us. Yeah, I think he will actually join us, so we don't have to attack him, if we don't want to. He will probably attack us, because he is hostile, but it sounds like we actually don't have to kill him, if we don't want to. Okay. So, that's the javelin here. Which means ranged. I don't want to go too close. Then we got the priest. As usual, let's give our Berserker Aegis. Here. That's fine. And we can move a little bit closer. Okay. And we can speed up the animations. Alright, bring it on. Let's see what this Warmong is going to do. I assume he will attack us. Probably, yeah, he will attack us. Or rather, not yet, because he wasn't close enough. But that is clearly his plan. Okay, that's fine. I'll try to ignore him. Okay, nice, that was a really good shot right there. And this looks like it will be enough for a kill. There we go, that's a kill already. Now the priest. Uh, he isn't really supposed to attack anything, so let's not do that. I'm going to back up a little bit. Not buffing anyone, because that will cost me my own health. And I don't want to abuse that too much. Now, our Berserker has Aegis, which means I can just move him forward. He will absorb one attack. Then we got the Guardian. They can stay next to each other. And then we got the footman. What does he have? Oh yeah, he can ram. I don't see any pits around here. There's a wall. And there's a barricade. So I don't see any ramming opportunities right now. So what about that warmog? Oh yeah, this is a ranged guy. And we are poisoned now. That's not very nice. There's Aegis. And Counter-Strike. When you shield or cancel the damage from an enemy attack, your character will automatically execute a Counter-Strike. And we do have a combat log down here. Fall from high ground. Okay, that's interesting. Fine. I could just attack him from here. From the high ground. It won't do a whole lot of damage, but... We'll do some. Yeah, it will do. And yeah, we got ranged support as well. I'll take it. Then we got the Berserker. Life regen, really? Okay. Well, regen this. <laughs> and we got flesh eater on this guy. So when an adjacent unit dies, heal for 16% of your maximum health within two turns and gain a bonus damage of 15% of your current damage. So that is really nice. Alright, I do not want to kill this war monk if I don't have to. Let's focus on the other enemies maybe. Nice. And again, very nice. Alright. So what the heck do we do here? I might just ignore him. But I can't really move. 
Yep, I literally can't move. Fine, just wait. We don't have too many enemies left. Literally just one of them. So surely this won't be very hard to finish. We are basically almost done. One more turn should do. It's quite possible he will get himself killed. Wait, what? What did he just do? <laughs> that was pretty interesting. Okay, flip. Flip target to opposite hex without dealing damage. And turn. Interesting. Quick learner, confuse. Target enemy won't generate focus for three turns. Right. I'm not attacking him because, again, I don't want to kill him. Maybe he will join us. It sounded like he will join us. We are basically done here. And that's that. So will he join us? What? They're all dead. Good. I'm glad to be rid of those fools. I'd rather fight for you. Yep, he will join us. Achievement trait unlocked. Yep, mass killer. Victory! Go us! Let's check the rewards. You captured the site. Now all these valuables and resources are yours. Let's see. Mind of a Thinker. Increases concentration by 7. On the normal critical hit, leech life. 50% of damage. Yeah, that's nice. Grants immunity against pulling, grabbing, lifting and bashing, but not against ramming. I think I'll take leeching criticals. It has to be a crit, but anything that restores health is going to be useful. That's how I feel. Alright, sounds good. Let's get that then. A new member joins. So now we got seven, but we can only deploy six. Let's take a look. And also we got a level up. Three available points. So this guy is a berserker, which means he definitely needs strength. Probably vitality. And a little bit of agility or just more strength. Let's just give him more strength. Now, who is going to use leeching criticals? I can just give it to the berserker and stack him with their mutators. It's not a bad idea. Can we see, like, a crit chance anywhere? Yeah, I don't see chance to crit anywhere. I wonder if everyone has, like, the same chance to crit. Well, what do we do now? Search site. You've arrived at the village. What will you do? Daily resources earned from this village will eventually decline to zero. Once you've eliminated the thugs who took over the village, an old man approaches you. Thank you for freeing my people. Okay, please accept this medicine as a sign of our gratitude. Oh, nice, we'll get medicine. You explain your strange illness to him and ask if he can help. Your condition is both baffling and terrifying. I'm sorry, but a cure is beyond my skills as a healer. I can, however, tell you that your mutation will progress over time, but will not kill you. I don't believe the cure will be found in this zone. I've heard, however, that beneath one of the villages is a secret entrance to a huge swamp cavern. That is what you should be looking for. Okay, then. So... Let's move on, then. I guess we'll go this way. Scavengers versus scavengers. To the northeast, word is spreading about a conflict in the ranks of the scavengers. For unknown reasons, two different factions are in violent conflict. We could also go this way. And fight that group over there. I kind of want to do that. Let's go that way then, that's fine. Ambushed alchemist. Yeah, we'll do that. Help him out. What's going on here? That is quite a few dudes. And quite a few enemies, alright. Fine. So, our ranged guys can be in the front. Although, I don't think they will be close enough to actually attack. Maybe one of them. The guy with four range. Travelers, get over here and help us defeat these feral creatures. My men can't hold 
them much longer. Help me and you'll be rewarded. We've already set some traps and they will only harm the enemy. Okay. Sounds good. Yep, I see some traps. Yeah, this is quite a few enemies. I'm not close enough to attack any of them, so we'll just chill back here in this general area. And I could just set more traps, which isn't a bad idea. Here, we can probably just wait for them to come to us. At least it kind of sounds that way. They might walk right into the trap. There are quite a few traps around here, yeah. A lot of them, in fact. Let's wait back here, then. That sounds like our best option right now. Alright, bring it on. Do they have any ranged attackers? Yeah, there's the trap. This looks new. I don't think they have any ranged attackers. Speaking of ranged, we got four range, right? Yup. So, let's do some damage. And we are also strong versus B. Yep, nice one. He's also bleeding. How much damage is that? Can we see that? Bleeding. Inflicts 5% of maximum health damage each turn. With every normal incoming hit, an additional 10% per stack max HP damage is inflicted. Current bonus damage per hit, 10% of maximum health. Oh, so not only they take damage per turn, they will take more damage when we hit them. Interesting. Okay, I like that. This should kill it. Yup. One down, several more to go, I guess. We can give our Berserker Aegis, as usual. And he can go next. Let's go, then. There's the Aegis. And one more attack. Another one down. Good start so far. And then I could guard him. I think... This guy is close enough. Does it say how many tiles they can move? Oh, hold on. Yeah, it displays his movement range right here. So he is close enough. Let's shield the ally. And we can actually see uh, the painting to the tile we highlighted by holding ALT. So I can see what exact path this guy would take. That is quite useful. Right, definitely not using RAM. <laughs> There's nothing to RAM at the moment. But I could RAM some of them into the spikes. At least from the looks of it. And he is not going for my Berserker. He is going for our friends over here. Alright. I might be too far away. Oh no, never mind. We got another one coming. Okay, so... And that's the priest. I don't really want to do anything right now. Target is attacked by all adjacent melee allies, including self. You must be in melee range to the target to use this ability. This ability is considered as normal attack. Yeah, that sounds useful, but maybe not right now, this moment. That should actually kill it. Because we'll get two attacks. Nice. Well, this fight is pretty easy so far. They might not even get the chance to attack us. But we'll see about that. Okay, I probably can't kill this guy. Or can I? Uh, almost! We will actually kill him because of ranged support. Nice. And we healed a little bit. We only got, what, three enemies left. No guard for you this time. I don't want to spend all of my stamina. And obviously we got some help. Hello there. Okay. Well. 
we can help him out with life steal. Yeah. Why not? He can get some of his health back. Go, go, go. Nice one. Next up, our footman. He is not really close enough to do anything. Oh, no, hold on. Uh, too late. I think he had an option to do something. Wait, can he attack from two tiles away? I don't think so. Oh, yeah, long weapon reach. He actually can. Or can he? On normal attack, hit the enemy behind the target as well. Always pierces. This is an environmental damage. Interesting. Oh, that is really interesting. With your big figure and long weapon, you are able to stop arrows by passing you and hit targets behind. Okay. Well, anyway. This will definitely be a kill. We are almost done here. Just got two enemies left. Let's go. <laughs> what was that supposed to be? How's that working out for you? There's a trap over here, so that will stop him. So, hold on a moment. Yeah, just move in and attack. It's fine. We'll get range support from our friend. And that's a kill. And we are basically done here. That will do the trick. Victory! Go us! Good work. I suppose we could have killed them without your help, but I did promise you something. Take this. Ooh. Wait, on hit, minus 37 speed. Okay. Critical counter strike. Adds trait, critical counter strike. Triggered on every block. Applies if the attack was ally shielded, avoided by Aegis, or even blocked by armor. Wait, what? Critical counter strike triggered on every block. Applies if the attack was ally shielded, avoided by Aegis, or even blocked by armor. Okay, that seems pretty good. Life steal strike. So, grants lifesteal for 100% damage dealt on a normal attack. Really? So, not even on a crit, on a normal attack. That seems pretty strong. But this is a focus ability. Right. Okay, that makes sense. And we can still extract something if we want to. Upon delivering a killing blow, heal 40% of maximum health instantly. Okay, yeah, I want that. And we also got a steel javelin. And we got some level ups. Let's check the level ups first. So that guy is a javelinier. Let's see. Well, strength increases weapon damage for every weapon. At least that's what this description implies. We could pick up some agility. Well, I mean, he has 19 agility already. I don't feel like I need more. Let's get one point in strength, one in vitality, and two points in strength. Then we got the hunter. So he only has one vitality. Let's get two points in vitality and one point in strength. And what about these items? Steel javelin. I assume that's probably an upgrade. Yeah, for sure. That is quite a significant upgrade. And who can use the mole? Let's see. Yeah, that's less damage. Yeah, who the heck can actually use that? Not sure. Oh yeah, the monk. That is an upgrade. Not a huge one, but it's an upgrade nonetheless. And then we have the mutators. Who's going to use what? The thing that works after a block should probably go to the Guardian, because that just makes sense, kind of. I think that makes sense. Mm, 
What's his armor? Protection 255. I assume he has the highest protection. Yeah, the only other person that has protection is this guy. Okay, fine. You can get that. And then we have Bloodlust. Upon delivering a killing blow, heal 40% of maximum health. I think that's best on the Berserker, honestly. So he will potentially heal for quite a lot, but that's the general idea. He can just rush in and kill stuff. Yep, that is the general idea here. And then we have a Lifesteal Strike. Overrides focus ability with Lifesteal Strike. Right, hold on, what's his focus ability? Rend Armor. When he cast on your ally, he will reduce armor protection on his target. Inflicted armor damage is increased by 200%. Right, so when I use this, that overrides our default focus ability. Which is fine, I like this one. Yeah, I like this one. Especially if we are going to just rush in with him. And that's the general idea, like I said. So, right, if I use this on the Guardian, I will override Shield Ally Focus Ability. Target receives bonus speed with each normal attack, free charges. What about the Monk? Target won't generate focus for three turns. Let's give that to him. He will get a Lifesteal Strike instead. Sounds good to me? Okay, and let's do the barricade here. You clearly recognize a few adventurers behind the barricades defending against beasts. Will we help these poor souls? Yep, that's why we're here. That other group moved away from this location. Uh, this actually looks easier than the previous one, so let's get this done, shall we? Here. Alright, looks reasonable. Travelers, we've fallen upon dire circumstance. Can you aid us against these savages? We've already set some traps. Yeah, yeah, we've heard that story before. I get it. You set up traps. Well then, let's move. I guess we'll just wait for them to come to us. Yeah, there are some obstacles here. This might be a little bit tricky as far as positioning goes. It is a bit of a choke point. Alright, bring it on. They will go around. Oh, I think one of them was ranged. Yeah, I think this guy was ranged? Was he? Yeah, blowgun. Right. That's the only ranged enemy in here. Speaking of range... We got four tile range. So, right here. And again, we are strong versus beast, so that will do nice damage. Then we got the javelin here. I am still in range for that. There it is. It's at like one health. One health out of 258. Okay. <laughs> Works for me. You guys can go around, I suppose. Because there's not enough space for everyone. And I can swap positions. That's probably a good idea. Ranged characters should be behind. So here comes their toxic ranged attack. Okay. And that was the bleed. Oh, he's upset, apparently. <laughs> oh, no, he's panicking, right. Do we attack with the priest? Yeah, sure, why the heck not? He will do some damage. It's not super impressive damage, but... It will do. This might even be a kill, right there. Almost. I can probably finish the job. This will definitely finish the job. 
Next up, who's next? Oh yeah, the javelin here. So let's just swap around and attack. And we got a crit. Well done, you've just landed a critical hit. When this happens, additional negative effects can be triggered, like bleeding or lifesteal. Yeah, I'm like way ahead of you right now. Swap. I like that you can swap characters. So you can take a shot with a ranged character and then swap him with melee. Speaking of melee... We didn't even need ranged support. And only two enemies left. Okay, that guy can charge. Okay, and now he's stunned. That didn't do anything. There, he's down. And we only got one enemy left. Let's go finish this. This Berserker guy is going to be really strong in the long run. And yep, I can actually use Ram. Might as well, why the heck not? Okay. We don't need any buffs, so I'll just skip that. This guy could maybe use something. But I mean, that's not my unit, so we don't care. Let's finish this. Swap places. Fine, we can use life still. Not that it really matters at this point. I can't quite attack from over here, there's not enough space. Nice try, buddy. How's that working out for you? We're pretty much done here. Victory! Yes, go us! Gods, thank you. If you hadn't come, we would have perished for sure. We're adventurers and one of us would like to accompany you on your journey. Okay, so we got a hunter and silver chainmail. 404 protection. And what can we get? Let's see, they all cost 44. On normal critical hit, you gain bonus speed. On normal critical hit, you gain life regen. On normal critical unblocked hit, enemy is poisoned. Poison inflicts 15% maximum health damage each turn. The mending is set to zero, meaning all healing is reduced by 66%. And acid. On normal hit, apply acid to all target's armor. Armor protection for all pieces decreases by 35% at start of target's turn. Duration 3 turns. This sounds like it would be very useful against enemies with heavy armor or something. Poisonous criticals. On normal critical hit gain life regen. Let's take acid. Sure. And we got a level up on the guardian. Let's check it out. Strength, vitality, vitality. Okay then. So we got quite a few people. Should probably use this war monk a bit more or at all. Yeah, probably. Sort items, sort items. Okay, armor. Let's see. Uh, who uses chainmail? Good question. Can I use that at all? Yes, I can. On the footman. Looks like that's the only person who can use it. That is a pretty big upgrade right there. Yep, that is pretty nice. And we got a steel crossbow. I assume that's an upgrade. Yep. Not a huge one, but hey, it's an upgrade. As for the acid, I assume that will work with ranged attacks. I don't see why it wouldn't. It just says on normal hit. It doesn't say whether it has to be melee or ranged. 
So I assume that will work with ranged. Seems like that would be the best combination. Anyway, that's going to be the end of this episode, so thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed it. Leave a like if you did, or a dislike if you didn't, and subscribe for more daily videos. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.